hello viewers you are highly welcome uh, in today's tutorial we are going to be solving this beautiful uh, equation uh, we have x to the power 15 equals 125 to the power x so for x belongs to set of real number so here we are going to be having two uh, possible solutions one will be integer and one will be uh, decimal okay so both just belong to the set of real numbers so therefore i would like you to stay focused and see what you are going to do i know somebody has already been looking at the question to see how they are going to solve it and that's very good i love that so now uh, i'll begin to by introducing a uh, natural log to the both sides of the equation i'm going to be having ln of x i mean ln of x to power 15 equals ln of 125 to power x so now and you know according to the law of logarithm so this 15 we actually come we have ln of x equals and the x which is the power we also come back here multiplying this so you are that's what we're going to have so now from here so we can see now i can now separate the two by having variable on one side and having uh numbers on one side so what i'm going to do is that i'm going to divide through by 15x if i divide through by 15x okay so you see that this 15 we cancel this 15 here right so i'm going to be having ln of x over x then equals here this x we cancel the x i'm going to be having 125 then 15 so uh, we need to go for that from here uh, how do we know because we have ln of x ln of 125 over 15 adding bin we have the same uh, you know value here okay here and here if they are the same so we would have just compared but we can do something to this uh, right hand side by having ln of s over s equals you know that 5 raised to power 3.5 multiply itself three times okay so this is going to give us 125 so i can write this as ln of 5 to power 3 over what over 15 so and we have what we have ln of x over x to be equals so now according to the law of uh, logarithm so this three will come back we have three lean five then divided by now don't forget that this 15 also can be split as uh, 3.05 no, that is 3 multiplied by 5 so now from there you can see that this we cancel this so we are left with ln of x over x equals we have lean 5 over 5 so as we can see now we can see we have ln of x we have x equals ln of 5 we have 5 so this and this this and this they are same so this implies that x equals what equals 5 that is our x1 so we just got the first uh, possible you know values of x to be uh, 5 so therefore that is x1 so this is uh, i didn't mean the question has for us to just leave our answer or to find the positive integer so we're going to stop here but the question said when x is set of real numbers so we need to go for that so we go that we go for that from here right then but to get the value of x here we're going to use a lambert's w function to get the value of x i mean the x2 so therefore and the lambda w function state that when you have a e to power a so this must give us back our a right so therefore from here i'm going to rewrite this so let me take this one out here so that is ln of x over x equals ln of 5 over 5 so i'm going to uh, start from there okay then trying to we'll be trying to you know transform this to this uh state of a uh, lambda w function so now from there uh i can write this left hand side to be ln of x then multiply by 1 over x okay i just splitted this x from ln of x so therefore it's going to be 1 over x equals ln of 5 over 5 
so now uh then also you know that when you have one over a from the of indices this can be a to the power minus one so i'm going to write one over x ln of x is going to be multiplied by x to the power minus one writing it in this form then equals ln of five over five right so now from there then don't forget that in this same law of uh, log redeem okay so we can rewrite this x to be e lin x because e and lin they are inverse to each other so this e we cancel ln then we're going to have a x so if you have power on top of x that is s minus one is it the same thing as ln x to power minus one so therefore this one here i want to replace it with what i have here so this is going to be ln of x okay multiply by e ln of x to power minus one equals ln of five over what over five are you following so now from there and the reason why i change this is that we know that from the form of w uh lambda w function we can see that there is a uh, appearance of e here we have e appears there so therefore definitely we must also find means of saying e here that is why we take this one today uh, in this form are you getting it so now from there what can we do we can see that here the power of a here is ln x to power minus one and we must have the same thing backward here i mean at the back here so what we are going to do now is that we are going to uh, introduce okay the negative one to the both sides of the equation before we can get this done so now i will multiply negative one to the both sides ln x e to power ln x to power minus one okay then equals minus ln of five over what over five so now from there what do you think we're going to have you can see that we have negative here so this will be minus ln x e to power ln x to power minus one equals minus ln of five over what over five so now from there so what do you think we do we can see that we can rewrite this equation or we can take this minus one to the back by having minus ln of x e because this is a logarithm we are going to have minus at the back we have ln of x equals minus ln of 5 over 5 are you following so now from there we move on so we're going to have when you look at this at the back of e you can see we have ln of x here minus ln of x so which means we can have a w function minus ln of x e minus ln of x equals w minus ln of 5 over what 5 so now from there so since we can see this and this the same thing so this left hand side will be minus or negative ln of x equals w minus ln of 5 over out over 5 so now from there so we can see that uh we are not looking for minus uh, ln of x so this can be written as ln of x to power minus 1 taking this negative back to the power of x we have w minus ln of 5 over 5 right so from there so the next thing we're going to do is that we're going to introduce e to the both sides of this equation because it's only e that can cancel out this ln we have x minus 1 equals e w okay minus ln of 5 over 5 so now from here so the next thing we are going to do is that i'm going to rewrite this right hand side in the form uh we need to recall let's recall that when you have e to the power w of alpha so this can be written as alpha over w of alpha it's just that to get the e out of this equation here so therefore we can see that this right hand side take this form of this uh, equation so therefore we're going to replace 
8 with this we're going to have x to the power minus 1 is now going to be so now i'm not going to write this one anymore i'm going to transform this right hand side in this form here so we have e w you know uh, alpha so therefore everything inside the function i mean the function of w here that is minus ln of 5 over 5 then divided i will change this division to this then everything which is w minus ln of 5 over 5 so therefore you know that this is like over 1 so we have this to be 1 over x equals that is if we change this to um, fraction we're going to have this so this is going to be minus ln of 5 over 5 then change this reciprocate this is going to be 1 over w minus ln of 5 over what over 5 right so we have uh, 1 over x equals minus ln of 5 over 5 multiplied by w minus ln of 5 over 5 but don't forget that we are not looking for 1 over x what we are looking for is x so we take the reciprocal of both sides so therefore this is going to be x over 1 equals this one also we in being touched we are going to have 5w minus nl of don't forget that we have negative here the negative can be here over 5 then divided by what divided by ln of 5 so we have x to be equals this at the right hand side but we can write it approximately to be equals so approximately we're going to have 1.764.92 okay so therefore this is x2 so let me bring the two solutions so at the end we're going to have x1 to be equals 5 command x2 to be equals 1.764.92 okay so these are the two possible solution and you can see that they are what they are belong to set of real numbers and that's the end of the class so you find the class very interesting so do not hesitate to share this class to your colleagues uh, if you haven't subscribed to our YouTube channel consider subscribing today and don't forget to hit on the bell icon so that you'll be notified anytime we upload a new content bye bye